Hey everyone, so it's been a bit of a bumper week for Assetto Corsa Mods and today I've got eight new tracks for you. These are all free tracks, all the links are in the description so you know what to do. Check out the footage if you like what you see, download from the links below, drag it into Content Manager. These are all pretty simple to install. Do check out the rest of the channel, over 330 sim racing videos now on there. And if you like what you see, I'd love to have your subscription. Also check out simrace247.com for all your latest motorsport and sim racing news. Let's jump in then to the first mod. And as I do with most of these track videos, I'm going to start with a car. Now, this is not a brand new mod, but it is free and it's new to me. I've not seen this before. So this is the Mark BMW M2 V8 from 2017. This is by BE Modding and it's at version 0.9. So this has a whopping 480 brake horsepower, 600 newton meters of torque. It only weighs just over a thousand kilograms. 180 miles an hour and 0 to 60 well under four seconds another great car to add to your collection and it's a lot of fun to drive so let's see this zoom into the distance then we'll jump onto our first track today and we've just seen the first track with the bmw racing around it that is this Dirt Showdown Miami track, obviously from the Dirt Games, and this is converted by RMI Wood. This is just under two miles long, it's got four pits, and these conversions are so good. Just look at the graphics on this, it looks ready to race on. A really good, fun little track, and the link is in the description where you do drop onto these websites, do give a thanks to the modders, or support them any way that you want to, but all of the mods today are absolutely free. Number two today then is this Sochi Autodrome by SMP Esports and I have a number of their tracks featured today. So this is 3.6 miles long, 32 pits, it's from 2022. This track was actually designed by Herman Tyke, it's a year round circuit and it actually hosted the Russian F1 2014 race. This track looks extremely polished and I do love all the backgrounds on this, very very good. Next up we have something very different, this is the Thompson Speedway Motorsport Park. Now this was originally modded by Small Factory and Patrick Jamin has actually done some more additions to it. It's a version 0.9, 1.4 miles long, 26 pits and there's a couple of different things you can do on this track. Obviously you've got the karting track and you've got a little bit of off-roading so it still needs a little bit of polishing around the edges but it's great to have these circuits on a set of course at full stop so thank you to the modders today. There's no sponsor today, but we do have a sister channel. Hey everyone, exciting news. SirSpats Gaming now has a sister channel, and that is SirSpats Racing with the link on the screen now. Not only will there be more Assetto Corsa content, but also for lots of other sim racers and drivers, including BMNG, Rexfest, Forza Gran Turismo, R Factor, Automobilista, Dirt Rally, ACC iRacing, and lots more. Sirspats Racing will be all about driving and giving you guys the best content for all of your favourite sim racers and drivers. The channel will always be about what you want to see and your suggestions, so if you want to come along for the ride, click on the link and check out more content from Sirspats. Great stuff there on Sir Spats Racing. Okay, on to number four on the list today, and this is Bora Vaya. Now, this is by Dim G. 2.5 miles long this is a historic circuit it's got 20 pits it's actually a public road course this has got three different layouts and it was raced on from 1962 to 1991 it's quite an unusual circuit it's a bit like a very long triangle that means that it's got very tight hairpins and some extremely long straight so lots of fun here for your vintage cars or indeed your modern high-speed racing cars really good fun
Next up, we're on a bit of a theme here, and this is Moscow Raceway. This is again by SMP Esports. They've released a number of tracks on race department over the last week. This is 2.4 miles long, 32 pits. It's a grade one FIA circuit. That means it can host anything from nationals all the way up to F1 racers. It's again designed by Herman Tyke. The track mod is based on its 2022 layout and the track was opened in 2012. At number six, we have another fictional track. This is Sorameim Speed Park. This is converted by RMI Wood. Again, it's at version one. This is 1.3 miles long. It has 28 pits and it has full CSP features on it. I did race a number of laps on this track when I downloaded it and it's got a really good flow to it. It does remind me of another couple of tracks that I've sim raced on from Japan. So really good fictional track. And again, a great conversion. We win out on Assetto Corsa. And remember, all the links are in the description below. Next up and at number seven, we have the N-Ring. This is again by SMP Esports. This is a FIA grade two standard track. It's at version one and it's from 2023. Two miles long, 32 pits on this layout, but this does come with eight layouts. That includes drag strips and all sorts of different shorter track variations. Absolutely loads to get your teeth stuck into and a very polished track yet again. Now we're on to number eight and this one is something a little bit different. So this was released last week and it's called the World's Ultimate Race Circuit. Well, that's a bit of a bomb old claim. It's by VR506 Simulation and it's a project to bring 11 of the biggest corners or complexes from the best race tracks in the world onto one circuit. So after looking at it and driving it, I can say it does need a lot more polish. And obviously adding all these different parts of a circuit into one circuit is very difficult to do. But kudos to the modder for actually trying and doing this. And as you can see, you will recognize all of these circuits, complexes and straight from your favorite circuits. So this is great to have on a set of course. You can see it's a huge circuit. Do give the modder a lot of love and say thank you when you download that from race department, because I think it does Deserves to have even more work put onto it. So that's it guys, that's eight new free tracks and also the Mark V8 BMW M2 at the beginning. I just want to say a huge thank you if we go over 28,000 subscribers on the channel. You guys are absolutely the best. Thank you for all of the support and watching me. And do give the video a thumbs up if you like it and I look forward to releasing even more videos for you in the future. See you later.